beleza? O reclame está no ar. E aconteceu na segunda semana de julho o quarto Congresso Brasileiro de Publicidade, o mais importante do setor dos últimos tempos. O terceiro aconteceu há 30 anos. Bastante tempo, né? Bom, um dos temas do quarto Congresso foi liberdade de expressão comercial. E nesse programa você curte mais Cannes Lions 2008. Só que dessa vez a gente trouxe as principais festas para você. Então, para a gente começar, vamos pela mais comentada. Ela rolou na excêntrica casa do estilista Pierre Cardin. Foi do Terra e imperdível. Roda aí! Essa nossa festa já está virando uma tradição. É o terceiro ano que a gente faz uma festa aqui em Cannes. O objetivo é aproximar o Terra relacionamento com o pessoal de criação, especialmente com os, uh, as áreas de negócio das agências. E a gente tem que sempre tentar inovar, tentar ser ousado. Eu acho que a gente conseguiu, dessa vez, aí, casar muito esses dois espíritos da criação com a ousadia, porque nós estamos num ambiente que é realmente muito diferenciado, muito diferente. O que a gente quis fazer, na verdade, até porque esse ano inaugurou a categoria de design no festival, trazer algo que tivesse a ver com criatividade, com o criador e que incentivasse as pessoas numa experiência meio sensorial sobre os conteúdos do Terra. Eu acho que essa festa aqui, mais do que uma balada, eu acho que ela já é um acontecimento aqui em Cannes. Ela tá, já está virando uma tradição, uma tradição para atrair não só o mercado brasileiro, mas fazer uma confluência de todo o mercado latino-americano. Outra festa muito badalada foi a da Léo Burnet Mundial. Well, this is the fourth anniversary of the party. It has become the most popular attraction from in the party circuit at Cannes for this week. And we're very proud of that. We have all of our clients that, that are in Cannes that attend this. We've got our friends and other agencies that come and attend this, and of course all of the Lido Burnetters from around the world. This is the, the best party of the week at Cannes. This is like the third time that Norman Jay's been here. A fantastic venue, really good mood and atmosphere. Really well, kind of art directed. This is uh, this party is has turned into the the most popular party in Cannes uh, for the last three years. It's the most highly attended, the most anticipated because the the music is second to none. We have the best disc jockeys in the world here, and the vibe is amazing. A organização do Festival de Cannes promove as festas de abertura e encerramento do evento. Muito animadas e divertidas, elas rolam no Deck do Calto, um dos hotéis mais chiques da cidade. Agora a gente curte um comercial da campanha premiada Lance Final da Léo Pornê Brasil. Nosso colunista Pedro Cabral acompanhou os principais seminários do Festival de Cannes desse ano. Então chegou a hora do nosso quadro Cabral Quer Descobrir. Pessoal do Multishow, nós estamos aqui com Nigel Morris. Ele acaba de dar a palestra aqui da Isobar aqui no Palé. Nigel, uh, I think that this is the third year that we are here presenting the Eyes of Bar Ideas at the festival. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, it seems that you didn't have so much people and so much flashes at yeah. your uh, public here. Now there's a lot of people listening to you and a lot of people 
trying to understand what's going on with the digital. For sure, uh, absolutely. I, I think um, what it's showing is there's, there's a, quite a dramatic increase in not just the importance of digital, but the understanding of how important it is. And I think what is great is actually getting a lot of clients, a lot of agencies really trying to understand, really trying to learn what it is that is different about digital. Could you tell us how digital is important in the advertising world in England? How much of the investment in li like, uh, how, uh, what's the share of investment in digital in England today? In, in the UK, it's absolutely amazing now. So it's, it's just gone over 20%. So 20% of advertising budgets is going online now. Well, wow, 20% is a lot of, it's, it's a big share. And uh, is, is it really true that the, the, well, the, the media owners on the, on the digital are o overcoming the, the, the TV ones? Yeah. So uh, Google's actually overtaken uh, ITV, which is the largest commercial station in the UK. Uh, so the biggest TV station has been overtaken by the biggest online media owner. It's quite amazing. So we could say that the, the key have already changed in UK. And do you think that uh, this is a, a general trend in the world? Uh, they have already overtaken. It's quite interesting if you talk to uh, people a few years ago, People actually would, sometimes they would admit that that would happen, but they'd say, oh, well, that will happen in 2020. But it's happened already in 2008. Even a year ago, they were saying it might happen in 2009. And within six months, they've had to admit it's already happened. And the curve is the same everywhere around the world. And it will happen in Brazil. It will happen everywhere. Uh, the, it's just the rate of inflection is different. And so I think... Um, it will happen at different times around the world, but it will happen faster everywhere than people expect. Well, thank you, Nigel. It was great listening to you. I would like to see new commercials from the language of the Aço, the Aço. I think it was a time at the end of the decade of 70. Hey, chef. Repete comigo, é mais do que pneu, é pneu com aço, é pneu aço. Pneu com aço? Não, não. É pneu com aço? Toque mais com pneu com aço. Mais? Toque pneu com aço? Que aço é aço? Pode ser.